Worries this morning about possible job action at Canada Post that could see mail disruptions. Members of the Canadian Union of Postal Workers will be in a legal strike position over Canada Day weekend. The Crown Corporation will also be in position to lock out workers. Canada Post is reportedly considering making cuts to benefits and job security the last time workers walked off the job five years ago. And the strike only ended when the federal government passed back to work legislation. For more on this story this morning, we're joined by Jen St. Dennis from Business in Vancouver. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. How likely is this to happen, do you think? Well, according to the union, uh, you know, it's quite likely to happen. They, they are preparing to po possibly be locked out in starting in early July. And why I'm talking about this as a business story is that this really concerns uh, businesses who really rely on uh, both for parcel delivery and mail delivery for things like invoicing and bills. And what business groups are warning is that, you know, whenever these strike actions happen, businesses have to look elsewhere because they can't just help halt their, you know, invoicing processes. And it pushes them to other options like careers and electronic systems. Um, now we know that Canada Post has really been trying to turn its business around. It was really bleeding money a few years ago. Instituted it, it's this really big turnaround trying to focus more on parcel delivery to, to tie up with the growth in e-commerce and also really controversially uh, eliminating mail, uh, sorry, door-to-door -door mail delivery which the current federal, uh, federal government has actually halted that plan. Um, Let's leave that for a moment because we want to talk about the U.S. Federal Reserve commenting this morning on the U.S. economy. What did they have to say? Yeah, no, this is actually yesterday. Uh, board, uh, board Chair Janet Yellen was giving her address to Congress. And what she was warning about actually was that uh, U.S. stocks are getting a little bit frothy. So she's kind of concerned that the that the stock market uh, is getting a little bit overvalued. Now, it's ironic because, uh, of course, the reason it is overvalued is because of the of the U.S. Fed's own policies of keeping interest rates low for a very, very long time. Now, we know the U.S. Fed wants to continue to raise rates. They did it in December, their first uh, rate raise in quite a number of years. Uh, but last week, uh, there was uh, the, the rate increase, and they actually decided to keep it the same. And that was because of worries about Brexit, the possibility that uh, the United Kingdom could leave the European Union, and also concerns about how the U.S. economy is performing on job creation. It's been a bit lackluster. And they also downgraded uh, their predictions for U.S. economic growth. So it's all kind of tying together. But the side effect of being of this caution is that uh, the stock market is now getting a bit frothy, according to Janet Yellen. All right. Thank you very much, Jen Thank St. You. Dennis from Business in Vancouver.